Lisa and you're watching One Lisa Show. Today I want to share with you my review of the Sew Over It pattern of the penny dress. Full disclaimer, I adopted my dog last month and named her Penny. Well, it's Miss Money Penny, but we're calling her Penny. I had already had this pattern, but her name is a reference to James Bond. I just wanted to make this. It was on my make nine list for this year. And the penny dress is a classic shirt dress from Sew Over It. It says it's an enjoyable, simple sew, and it's a versatile wardrobe must have. This is sold as a PDF pattern on the Sew Over It website. However, mine came with the Simply Sewing magazine, and it was an, um, a previous issue I purchased, and I actually bought that magazine because it had the penny dress pattern in it. I did trace my pattern. I made a size 16. This pattern is not as size inclusive as some of the other ones. It is an 8 to 20 UK, which is the equivalent of a 33 inch bust to a 45 inch bust, and it will fit a waist of 26 inches to 38 inches and hips 36 inches to 48 inches. I made the 16 because it is a 41 inch bust, 34 inch waist, and 44 inch hips. That is my <laughs> measurements almost exact. Here is my finished version. I'm gonna insert, throughout this video, I will insert pictures of me wearing it and a little video where I do twirl. But this is my penny dress. It is made out of a cotton poplin from Minerva. And when I purchased it, I only purchased three yards, but it was a 60 inch wide um, fabric. The sew over it pattern does say, um, based on the sizes, you either need three and a half to three and three quarter meter. However, I have plenty left over, probably at least three quarters of a yard left over. I did have to trim two inches off of my hem. So this is basically a very, simple boxy camp style shirt with cap sleeves they're grown on sleeves it does have an elasticated waistband and then this is a circle skirt i took two inches off of my circle skirt hem and i'm actually going to work and redo my hem because i'm i i did it very quickly so i could wear it to an event last night it has facings it does have a really cool um, shoulder where it's kind of like, there's little gathers right in the front and in the back. You can't see them because of the fabric choice I have here. But then there is a shoulder panel where it's just like a little strip that goes down your shoulders. I actually sewed my buttons to the front of my dress I did not make buttonholes. I really didn't have enough time because I wanted to wear it yesterday to an event and it was almost finished. Your facing actually helps form your button placket. But like I said, I just took three buttons and I sewed them all the way through. I'm actually gonna go back in and I'm gonna sew the placket to the pieces together so I don't have to worry about that um, undoing the other thing that I still want to do as well is after I wash it, I'm going to give it another good press and then I'm going to sew the back facing to the back of the dress. I think it'll look nice. It's a beautiful half, half moon and that shape will be fine, especially with this fabric, the black uh, thread just stitching. It's not going to be noticeable and it's going to look great. I love the camp styleness to this and I love how I look and I love how I feel in this dress. I measured the elastic around my waist. I didn't go by any suggestions. I just took the elastic, <laughs> went around my waist, made it a little bigger actually. Then I threaded it through, and this was my first time doing an elasticated channel in a dress like this. It was very easy. The, it was very easy to do this part. I used quarter inch elastic. That's what actually fit through the channel by the time I got done doing it. And then I put it on, put the dress on and calculated how much tighter I really needed to make that elastic. It's very roomy. Where I had the biggest issues with this dress, 
the biggest issues were with the collar, attaching the collar and the facing to the shirt. That was the hardest part. Doing the placket was easy. Um, really, it's very simple. And if you have an overlocker, it's they make it out. They tell you where to overlock. But it just was really hard for me. I had to rip. I used my seam ripper and I had to rip out my stitches and I went, it was took three tries to get this collar to lay correctly. Um, there was an, one of the times I did it, I got the collar on, I hate, I sewed the collar to the back neckline and then I attached the, the facing. When I did that, Somehow I really messed up the collar and got it underneath and stitched it. I don't know, but it was a it was a right mess. And so I had to unpick everything and try again. So it was my third try. It finally laid well. And that's why I wanna wash it first and then do my stitching to get this facing stitch to the back. Otherwise, this dress is great. I think it's gonna be, as a kind of poplin, it's a little structured, but it's not like a quilt cotton where it's stiff and just not, I mean, it feels good on the skin. It lays well. I want to thank fellow, fellow YouTuber Kim Gaddy Sews. Her channel is excellent. She did a review on a camp shirt pattern, like a nice, simple camp style shirt. And in it, she had suggested to get shirt tailor Pellon interfacing for her crisp collars. That's what I used for this one. Now, do I think I needed to use that type of interfacing? No. Do I love how it turned out with that interfacing? Yes. Because it's a poplin, it's a little more structured. Having that structured interfacing specifically for shirt collars, it's it lays so perfect. It lays so perfect. I love it. I can't wait to do more of these. Now that I feel like I, a lot of the, tr the, a lot of my fails on the collar and why I had three tries at trying to get this collar right w was just me not putting my all into paying attention. Because like I said, the fabric flipped and I had that fo a fold where it kind of went over and I had to unpick all of that. The first time there were a couple of puckers, I wasn't happy with it, so I unpicked it then. So m a lot of it is just, I wasn't taking the time that I should have. I did the steps how they were. I really, really love how this dress is. Um, is it the end of wearing it for the season? Maybe. I'm also thinking this could easily be a fall wardrobe staple with a cardigan. It is so swishy, so flowy. Um, yes, there's structure to the poplin, but it looks great. I had a lot of compliments when I wore it last night. It's just a really nice, simple make. Otherwise, it only took me, it took me a few days. And like I said, part of that time was because I spent so much time redoing the color. And actually the fabric was from Minerva. I have to say it was a very inexpensive cotton poplin, but it, it took a licking and kept on ticking. You can't tell I unpicked that collar as many times as I did, went over it over and over again. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how this make turned out. This was my first sew over it pattern that I made. I plan to make more sew over it items now that I have gotten it down. The collar does not have a collar stand, but with that fabulous shirt tailor interfacing from Pellon, and I got that at Joann's, oh, it doesn't need a collar stand. It sits so well. I did forget to put a little handmade label on that, but I'm gonna make another and I will get my labels in. And also for me, I did not make the buttonholes. I sewed the buttons on. This is a fabulous pattern. Lisa Comfort made a really great item, a great, that company is a good pattern maker. Their instructions were very good. What helped? Um, I did lots of pictures. What actually helped me the most was watching their sew alongs. So this was a two part sew along and it really only tackled the 
top part of the dress. This, you can look on the Sew Over It channels page on YouTube and find the penny dress. You will see there's a part one and a part two. It tackles from start to finish the whole bodice of this dress. The circle skirt is cut on the bias. And looking back, I think what I will do in the future is I will, it's one piece. I will do it as two pieces and insert pockets. That's the only thing that can make this dress better. That is it. And actually, I think you could probably put a little pocket in the front if you want to, or two pockets in the front, little patch pockets. I think that will look cute as well. It's a great dress. I don't need a belt because it's elasticated and it's not a tight elasticated waist. It's as loose as I wanted it to be, so it fits exactly how I wanted. I have pre-washed that fabric multiple times from this dress um, to make sure it was completely pre-shrunk. I love how it sits on me. I actually think I could probably get away with a 14, but then I would definitely need to have the buttonholes. But the 16 fits my measurements and I was able to take those buttons and just sew them completely through so it's just for looks. And I could easily slip it on over my head and my shoulders, put it back on. There's a big truck going down the street. One other video that really also helped me, this was about a year ago, I had watched the Pattern Pals review and make this penny dress. And watching their versions of the penny dress and them talk about it, that's when I decided I wanted to make this dress. So it was well over a year ago. And then in January, I made it part of my Make 9. So it, it's still in 2021, so I got it done in time. I'm glad I did it. I'm glad it was available as a printed pattern on the Simply Sewing magazine. I'm pleased as punch. I really felt very good, very comfortable, and feminine and casual in this outfit, yet classy enough for work. With a cardigan this fall, I plan to wear it loads. And even as the days get chillier, I'll wear tights with it or even boots. It's, it's a really a nice pattern. I cut out the skirt portion, sewed the side seam, and then I hung it on a hanger for a good uh, day and a half. And then I worked on my hem after I attached it to the bodice. That way it had already hung for a while because skirts that are cut on the bias, they will change the shape. The hemline could be different. I will go back I did a very simple quick hem on this one where I just folded it under about um, a half of an inch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get some bias tape, single fold bias tape, and I'm going to redo this hem, let it, after I wash it one more time, I'm gonna let it hang, and then I'm gonna come back to it in about a week. I'm going to put it up to the old pattern piece just so I have the curvature correct, and then I'm going to trim as needed and redo the hem. I did a two inch cut off already on it and it's still plenty long. The next time we make it, I'm just going to, I'm not going to be in a rush and <laughs> I'm going to finish it, let it hang, and then I'm going to trim it as needed and do the hem. But with it being a cotton poplin, it's a little bit of a tighter weave. I feel like I'm, it's safe. It was hanging for a couple of days already before I attached it to the bodice. I do anticipate a minor drop, a little bit of a warp. And like I said, I did a very simple hem so I can unpick that and then use bias tape just to make it perfect so I'm not losing any more length to it. And hopefully it'll just be a very minor trim. It's not like a flowy viscose or anything like that. All in all, I plan to make another one of these dresses. It might not be till spring planning, but I could see myself wearing these all next summer because it's so flowy, it's so comfortable. I really enjoyed the sew after after the drama with the collar. I'm, I'm very confident I can do this again a lot quicker, but I do, oh, I really liked it. I hope you found, can you hear Penny in the background barking? <laughs> Penny, cut me some slack. <laughs> I hope you found, there we go. <laughs> That's a good watchdog. I hope you found my review 
helpful. And if you've made this dress, let me know if you also enjoyed it or if you also had a problem with the collar. Like I said, I highly, highly recommend if you do want a stiffer collar that lays very flat, try that shirt tailor Helen interfacing and you can get it at Joann's and you probably can get it many other places as well. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please feel free to leave a comment below. I read all the comments and I really enjoy the community we've built. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.